Oh man, I am exhausted. One more draft. More draft. I do want. Draft Thalia. Could be a pretty quick, pretty quick league if we just get wrecked, right? Oh, five drafts though. Five drafts. I feel like it's impossible to take Thalia unless it's in our opening pack, though. All right, all right. Let's just do it. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more draft, chap. One more. All right. Fifth and final draft of the day. Let's see if we can, like... Oh, there is an opposition agent. I want to see if we can draft something that's not blue. It seems fairly challenging, though. Like, Ravages seems terrible in this format. Just there's too much Moxin. If we were trying to draft Mono Red, there's two Mono Red cards, but they're not very good. I feel like survival is probably impossible to draft. I mean, if we went for like a hate bear style deck, theoretically, we could take recruiter opposition agent, right? Uh, or we could take like Knight of the Reliquary opposition agent or something. I mean, this pack is bad in general, so I don't feel too bad about trying to do something else, right? So theoretically, if we wanted to build like a white hate bears deck, opposition agent and recruiter, Let's try it. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. If we owe three, it's fine. It's the last draft we ever do. Um, I think it'll be fine. I mean, if you wanted to do big colorless mana, you could do that, but I don't think that's what I, I want to try to draft a Thalia deck. I don't know. It's stupid, but maybe like Knight of the Reliquary is better, but I think I'd rather just be black, white to start. Let's try this. Thalia? Can I get a Thalia? A Thalia? That's, this is like a Thalia. All right, hold on. Goblin Guide Spirit of the Labyrinth. It's good because our blue cards haven't been great anyways. They've been like Foth Pestermite. Or are we supposed to go Inquisition Spirit of the Labyrinth? Maybe? Inquisition Spirit of the Labyrinth? That's kind of reasonable. It's kind of reasonable. Okay, hold on. It's, it's okay. Let's try that. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're, we're going to play, uh, what's that deck called? Dead Guy? Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, yo, it's our, it's our best friend. Sort of body and mind. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, I mean, we could take a Spectral Procession. We could take a Night's Whisper, which is just not very good. Uh, technically, you could take a Bazaar. Not great. <laughs> I feel like we want our good friend Sword of Body and Mind, and then maybe this Night's Whisper or Hollow Fountain could be reasonable. I don't. Yeah, I guess we could take a Hollow Fountain. Maybe could be reasonable to take a Hollow Fountain here. Uh, hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not great. Great. I think the sword is a, is the go to. It's just, do I want a Night's Whisper, a Spectral Procession, or a Hollow Fountain? I guess this Night's Whisper is probably best. All right, here we have Relic Warder. I mean, the blue cards have been terrible. Our blue deck would have been bad. Our blue deck would have been very, very bad. So, so maybe we have a, maybe we've got something going here. Maybe we've got something going here. Thought you guys want to play diamond? You want to play diamond? What about like relic order? Sculler? Sculler sounds probably impossible to cast. What about like Thoughtseize skull? I mean, we're gonna get wrecked by ancestry recall decks, but. I know Moxen are necessary, but this isn't really a Moxen. I mean, maybe. Uh, maybe. All right, let's try it. Uh, we still have seen zero actual Moxen. We've seen no power. We've seen the first force of will of our format. The absolute first force of will in five drafts. The very first first force of will in five drafts. Uh, this is drafted. This hand is. I mean, we can go flicker wisp and Gideon. Yeah. 
maybe. Why do you want Ballista? Is Ballista actually good? Ballista doesn't seem very good. Is there a Heliod? I feel like Ballista's terrible. Okay, we have a Demonic Tutor and another Thought Seize. I wish we could have Lightning Bolt, but I guess we don't really care. It's just infinite Thought Seize dot deck. Demonic Tutor's not fantastic in our deck by any means. I'm sure we can find a hero later or something. I feel like we still want the Demonic Tutor. We need Moxon. I swear we need Moxon. Uh, defined sword I like that Yorion <laughs> we can't get 80 cards <laughs> why is that here why is that here is thoughts use the way to fight blue not sold strip mine maybe strip mine shambling vent it's not it's, we can't even get 60 cards though it's just not possible. <laughs> Copter could be good. Skyclave could be good too. What if we do Skyclave's Copter? I don't actually know if like a strip mine is really where you want to be. I feel like we could just be Skyclave Copter. I feel like we'll have, we're gonna have way too many thirty drop uh, level. Uh, not well, those are not words. We're gonna have way too many three drops in this deck. Do this. All right. Can I please have a Moxon? I guess I need I need on color Mox. I don't need on color Moxon. I just need Moxon. Uh, the main land is a tapped land. I'm not really sure that's what you want to be here. I guess we take a mesmeric fiend and a Gideon. Dark ritual. Uh, I don't know about dark ritual. Dark ritual is like kind of gross. I feel like Gideon's got to be better than Karn. Gideon has to be better than Karn. No way. No way. I think we just want Fiend Gideon. No, no, I want Fiend. I think Fiend's a good call for sure. We need Moxon is what we need. <laughs> I need Moxon. Please, please stop giving me Gideon Blackblades. I swear to God, I don't want another Gideon Blackblade. <laughs> Like a smuggler's copter, I think. Uh, I guess I'm going to take this collective brutality. Uh, we're not. I'm not taking walking ballista. Stop! Why does chat want a walking ballista so badly? That card is unplayable. That card is terrible. I need moxen. Where are the moxen? Need the box and uh i guess we're gonna take the ores the ores of signet seems terrible but at least it fixes us this deck is going to lose every match <laughs> there is actual zero chance we win any match of magic there's no way we can get a single win am i even gonna play an ores of signet <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to play an Orzhov Signet. <sighs> I just wanted, like, a Thalia, a Moxin, and I've just had nothing. Just stone cold. <laughs> nothing that does anything. I mean, I think we we're supposed to play Ravages of War, even though I said they're bad. All right, I found a Mox in chat. Just got the Sapphire. Should we take the Diamond too? Feel like we should take this. Maybe we should take Pack Rat. Nah. Feel like we need the Diamond at this point. I feel like I just need to have some acceleration. Uh, I don't know if we need a Pack Rat. I feel like we feel like we need Moxon. I'm gonna take Moxon chat. Need Moxon. Where are the Moxon? 
We've we've seen like stone cold no help, zero help, just nothing, just like actual factual nothing, nothing that does anything. It's just nothing here. He's, I mean, our blue deck in this in this draft would have been awful too. Like our packs have just been bad. It's not. It wouldn't be as bad as this deck that we just drafted. But like our packs would have. Where are the? Why? Look at these packs, chat. They're unplayable. <laughs> they're un. <laughs> they're actually unplayable from every point of view. Not, why you can't make me play lingering souls <laughs> just a combo with my smuggler's copter right ritual like what are we ritualing out none of our spells are castable off of ritual I just don't think we can take ritual <laughs> we have thoughts to use a smuggler copter I guess I don't know it just seems so bad. Seems so bad. All right, we hit a jet. Game is over. We win the tournament. Jet, 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 sword. Jet. Why is this pack like have ten cards in it, and all of our other packs have had zero cards? G day, G day. I feel like swords to plowshares makes more sense. Mm, why do we want G Day? There's no other creatures in this format. I guess then why would we want Sword? <laughs> We're not screwing the Jet. This Jet is the best card we've drafted. This Jet is the best card by an extremely large margin. Uh, during your turn, spells your opponent's cast cost one more. Abilities your opponent, eh, whatever. I'll just take this sword. All right, all right, all right. I I'll just eat all their moxin. That's what we'll do. We'll just eat all their moxin. That's the new play. New play. Eat all their moxin. Fetch. I think we're just gonna take this fetch land and this apparition, and then in our next two packs, hope we hit a fetch land. Port seems terrible. Port seems like awful. Port seems like garbage. What is up with these packs? Look at these packs. Look at them. look how bad they are. <laughs> we were never gonna win no matter what we drafted. Here we get a council's judgment and a pack rat. So we take what we get. We just had no on-color lands, no Moxon, no power, no anything. Nothing was good. We're going to have no fixing in our deck. <laughs> we're we, we're going to have just no fixing in our deck. I don't think we want a second Council's Judgment. I don't know. Chat, I have no idea. It's just, it's just over, man. It's, it's just over. It's over. Our run is over. It's, it's, it's washed. It's completely washed. Like these don't even go in our deck. They don't even fix us remotely. Uh, this is just unplayable garbage. Um, Lord, I have to put how many lands into that? I need to cut seven cards. Uh, I mean, these recruiters don't do anything. Um, uh, I feel like Dark Ritual's gotta be bad. Mentor is pretty eh, you get like one trigger a turn. <laughs> Recruiter Pack Rat, fair, I guess. <sighs> I, 
I don't think we win. I think that's the secret. I don't think we win. Sideboard cheat day. Yeah, this card's probably bad. All right. Uh, I feel like... Why do we care about... All, I guess like a wheel is why we care. I mean, do we go 16 when we play Ravages of War? I don't think that's a plan. There's one Dark Ritual and one Opposition Agent. And our mana base is going to be unplayably bad. And they're not even going to have fetches because this is draft. We have card draw. We have two Nice Whisper. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a solid 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a solid 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a solid... Seven six. Solid seven six. What are we flickering? Bro, I have no idea. It's a three one flyer. No, don't raid me like this. No, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. We're not cutting sapphire. We need sapphire. Why would you ever cut sapphire here? I think we need the diamond though. I feel like we need the diamond. This is why we need to play seven. This is why we need to play more lands, though. This is why we need to play more lands. This is embarrassing, Anzi. I don't want you guys to see this. It hurts, man. It hurts. You just to look at this, Zach. It hurts. So bad. I guess we can cut this flicker, Wisp. All right, save. No, we're not cutting Ravages. It's like our only card that actually does something. All right, we should have drafted blue again. I see the I see the problem. I see the problem now. To be fair, all of our packs were terrible. Our blue deck would have also been terrible. Four mana Gideon and 15 lands. Why? Yeah, it's a, it's exactly your deck, J Cloud. It's an O3 deck. <laughs> you walked into that one. Oh, uh, yeah, this is yeah, I, don't, I don't know. All right, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. This is so bad. It's the worst deck yet. To be fair, every deck we've drafted since the first deck has been the worst deck yet. <laughs> yeah well clearly not everyone has 10 moxen mr bad luck look at our last four decks they've all had like two moxen <laughs> i don't think we've had more than four moxen since the first deck have we chat i don't think we've had more than three moxen since the first deck the first deck had like eight moxen but every other draft has only had like two to three moxen I don't think we've had more than two, like three Moxen for our last four drafts. Yeah. It's been scuffed. Someone was playing with the Shuffler for sure. No, nah, no, nah, they'll have zero Moxen. Trust me. See, no one even wants to queue up into this deck. <laughs> this can't be worse than the Eureka deck we played versus. Can't be worse than that. Can it? I do think that all any deck we would have forced in this uh this particular draft would have been quite poor because we just haven't had very good packs recently, but That's true. If anyone loses to this deck, 
No, no, no. <laughs> it's, yeah. To be fair, if opponent keeps a weak hand and we thought sees their stuff, we have a chance. All right, all right, chat. You need to channel some kind of energy here. Look at this. Look at this hand. It's unbeatable. Keep. How does opponent ever win? Turn one, take their thing. Turn two, take their thing. Turn three, take their thing. Pack rat. Take your thing. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at our opponent. Uh, I don't know. Someone told me mentor is bad. We can fix the deck later. They're going to go Dark Ritual Empty the Warrens. You got it. I don't think I'm allowed to let them keep the Mystical because I really don't want to get tinkered. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, if they don't empty right away, we're going to fiend them. And if they do empty right away, oh, they didn't empty chat. <laughs> you didn't think the Spanish Inquisition was coming for you, did you? Got him. <laughs> uh, got him. Oh, we need to draw one more land. Not one more land. I wish we had a Black Lotus. I guess we can just Smuggler's Copter, right? Yo, I'm not even attacking. If I attack and they have like a, a Hull Breacher, not happening. I don't think DT for land is better than play Smuggler's Copter. Yes, Storm facing off against his arch nemesis, Mesmeric Fiend. All right, all right, you got it. Steam Vents, what'd you draw? What'd you draw? There? It's a pretty good draw, actually. I guess if we draw planes, we should probably hit this mana vault. I guess if they don't kill us, we can just fiend again. They pitched a spell? Are you wild? Right, they pitched this mountain. So they have Dark Ritual Unknown card. All right, so first things first, we, we crew the copter, and we get in. First things first, looty boy. Uh, yes. All right, I want to loot away this Mox Diamond. <laughs> yes, I do. Perfect. <laughs> Just how we drew it up. All right, do we take Dark Ritual? Do we play Pack Rat? Do we... Sky Enclave Apparition the Mana Vault so we can't get tinkered? I kind of feel like that's the line. I feel like Sky Clave is the line, to be perfectly honest with you. You guys want to fiend the Dark Ritual? Why? You think the other card is so good? Uh, I'm off it. Sky Clave it. We want to get some power in play. We want to disrupt them a little. I think this is the way to go. They discarded a spell that doesn't do anything, to be fair. All right, so they're, they got a spell. What are, they, what are they tapping? What is this spell? Is this a repeal? Repeal on my fiend? What is this? What is happening? Oh, it's an eight mana dig through time. All right, well, I didn't, I didn't have them on eight mana dig through time. My bad, chat. DT? No, we don't have... <laughs> there's nothing in our deck to DT for. <laughs> there is nothing we have <laughs> to DT for. I mean, to be fair, they should have just cast Dig Through Time on their turn. I think. Oh, no! My Smuggler's Copter! Rip. Rip. 
All right, so we kill the Dak, we attack them for two, and then we probably have to Fiend at this point, right? I guess we can DT for a, a Swamp and then Fiend. Let's attack first, though. DT for Swamp and then Fiend, I guess. I feel like we want to DT for a Swamp. I mean, I guess we could DT for a Spirit of the Labyrinth at some point. So maybe we probably shouldn't have done that. All right, whatever. Too late. Doesn't matter. Uh, Yeah, sure. You have a Mana Vault and a Dark Ritual. I mean, this looks good. Mana Vault's been played. This can't get crude. Uh, I feel like we're on pack rat life soon. I mean, they're almost dead. If we just play, what is this? What is, what is happening? Is this another dig through time? Oh. I mean, that's a problem. That is a problem. I did not expect the shark typhoon. I mean, we can kill it, but they're going to get back like the empty the warrens, I guess. But I guess we can take the empty the warrens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You've been fooled, opponent. You've been fooled. <laughs> I would like to skyclave your shark. I can't skyclave the shark? Ah, shit. All right, Chad, I didn't know. No one told me. No one told me I couldn't skyclave the shark. Where's J Cloud? J Cloud! This is your doing. <laughs> I needed you. I needed you. Uh alright, alright. I'm gonna make them. I'm just gonna take their empty the warrens, I think. I'm gonna take their empty the warrens. Oh, they hit a ponder too? Game is cheating. Alright. I think we're on uh, Pack Rat soon. Oh, they have a tapped Mana Vault now. Are they going to untap their Mana Vault now? Fair, fair. I got a Pack Rat. All right. All right, now they have a Ponder, though. We got to be a little scurred, a little scurred. I think it's still better to take empty than to take ponder. Um, even if like the the pack rat will eventually beat the empty, I don't want to give them time. Uh oh, they hit something. All right, I don't know anything anymore. What do you got for me, homie? Oh, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I haven't even seen an I haven't even seen a Yogwill in my five drafts. I haven't seen a single Yogwill in my five drafts, okay? Not once. Zero Yogwills. Ah, right, we could still win. Can I just make the pack rat? I can have I'm gonna just F6. Alright, I'm F6. You do your thing. They did top deck fairly well. I'm sure we could have played better or something. I don't know. No, I did not. If I would have taken a Yagwell. To be fair, they could have drawn some garbage, you know? They got some garbage in their deck. I think we can win. We just need to beat like 8,000 empty the Warrens. They just failed to find a mountain or a forest. I guess they can't a li lightning bolt now. Just, okay. All right. You got some tokens. I see you now. I don't have any graveyard hate. Could be a problem. I also am going to die to a shark. Because this thing apparently doesn't hit sharks. I don't know why it doesn't hit sharks. 
Why do they make white cards so bad? I feel like this opposition agent doesn't actually stop anything. I refuse to scoop. I am a professional white weenie player. We never scoop. Yeah, maybe they DT. I mean, they have an, they actively have a lightning bolt in their hand. So they mystical for lightning bolt, <laughs> which we can't beat either. So. <laughs> if I can see the this is the last league of the night, everyone will will have to go watch Arena or something. You wouldn't want that. Look at they're taking damage from their mana vault. I feel like we have a chance. All right, it seems that the opponent has done the math. I, on the other hand, did not do the math, but I guess I'll just block everything. See what happens. All right, the math does not check out, chat. We, in fact, died. Damn it, opponent doing the math like that. That's so rude. All right, all right. Do we have any sideboard tech? Um, no. No, we don't. All right, this gets some go. Well, they had a lot of lands. Ah, oh, whatever. Just get this mentor in here. Uh, if we were on the play that game, we would have won. Jit kills goblins. <laughs> It's so bad. It's so bad. Flicky? Why do you want a Flicky? Oh, Flick kills sharks? It's going to die to a shark. <laughs> what it's going to do is it's going to die to a shark is what it's going to do. Uh, all, right, all right, fine. Flicky's in. We're in trouble, mostly because of our draft. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Opponent, like... Opponent kept a shitty hand last game, and I thought we were going to win. I'm not going to lie to you. We took all their good cards, but uh, they top decked out of it. Right, I'm going to mulligan. All right, much better. We have a plan, and we're sticking to it. I mean, I did the drafting better cards for the other four drafts, so. No, I think ritual is bad. How many times do I have to say that? I mean, I think it's a powerful archetype if I drafted exactly one Thalia. You know? I feel like I have... Dra if I drafted one Thalia, I feel like we would have won. Is Thalia in this cube? Was someone lying to me? Does anyone know if Thalia is actually in this cube? Someone probably lied to me and made me draft this entire deck thinking Thalia existed when Thalia didn't exist. We didn't even see a Vryn Wingmare. Zero Vryn Wingmares. <sighs> Unlucky, you know? We do have a Spirit of the Labyrinth, though. Um, I have a plan, chat. <laughs> I have a plan. We did see a wing, Vryn, Vryn Wingmare. We did see one of those. Did we see Athalia? Probably did. We only saw one Force of Will in five drafts. I know that for fact. Mm, should we Fiend, though? I feel like they're on four cards. We should probably Fiend. I actually think we're probably supposed to Fiend. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but I think we are supposed to Fiend here. Uh, they have Faithless Looting, Brainstorm, and Time Spiral. All right, I'm going to take this Brainstorm and leave them with the Faithless Looting Time Spiral. That's fine with me. I 
I mean, their deck doesn't look that good. It's like a kind of cobbled together storm deck with like. I don't know. What are they going to do? Time Spiral? I mean, Time Spiral is pretty reasonable, I guess. Wooded Foothills. Wooded Foothills Pass. How does their deck... Their deck would fucking fold to every other deck we drafted today. Absolutely fold. To every other deck we drafted. Do you think they drew the... I bet they drew the stupid shark. Is Bramaz slower than Packrat? Probably. I don't know for sure, though. I have to play a land to play Bramaz, though. Yo, I bet they drew a damn shark, you know? Like, 1,000% Jewish. I'm not attacking with this fiend. Can't make me. Should I play this land just in case we want to do something with it later? I don't know. Maybe. If it was a swamp, maybe I was supposed to play it. Unfortunately, we would have to hit a swamp to do Night's Whisper into Rat. But if we draw a swamp, I'm in. Alright. Faithless Looting is gone. They're going to time spiral soon. Oh, I'm in. Oh, uh, is this actually better than ever? Oh, they got to win like now. So. Ah, oh, shit. I attacked the fiend in. Am I going to get I'm going to get stupid sharked? I played around this last time. Why didn't I play around it this time? Oh, they're just fooling with me. They're just fooling with me. All right, okay, opponent, I like you. I like you. I, did, I should not have attacked with a fiend, by the way. It's probably bad. All right, so they're going to spiral and try to kill me, and I'm just going to... What? They're not even going to bother? They're not even going to try? I don't care anymore. Rats get rats 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 swing sideways. Yeah, I don't care. Sure. You have a shark. What does that do? Nothing. You die. Oh, they have a lightning bolt. Okay. I mean, that looks pretty bad for you, homie. Now you have a tap mana vault. <coughs> Shock one up for the good guys. Chalk one up for the home team. All right. That's one more game win than I thought we'd get. 5-0 from here. All right, all right, all right. Uh... Why not make another rat? Well, one, you need to discard a card. Two, it costs three mana. How am I going to make another rat? Yeah, what, would I lie to you? What, would I would I lie about the rat? I couldn't do it. Not to you. <laughs> Why does this feel close, chat? This feels kind of close. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm guaranteed a Skyclave or a Mentor on turn two. If they have, like, a Mana Vault, we get a Skyclave it.
I mean, everything is better on the play. There's literally, it's never not better on the play. <laughs> Probably Mulligan. Look at what we just mulliganed into. Our deck is unplayable. Why didn't you let me keep it? <laughs> I wanted to keep it. Okay, this hand's actually the best, by the way. <laughs> this hand's actually by far the best. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of Swamp Mentor. Sorry. Mentor Swamp. Sorry. Swamp Mentor. No. Mentor Swamp. Mentor Swamp, turn one Thoughtseize, turn two, either Fiend or Cop. Oh, they kept a seven card hand this time? That is actually cheating. That is not how this works, Smash. We're not eight rack. <laughs> We're black, white aggro <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh... If we had just top decked Thoughtseize into Thoughtseize last game. Anyways. No, we're not shitters. We're aggro. Doesn't me Mesmeric Fiend scream aggro to you? Like, how does opponent beat all the thoughts we're seizing from them? They're going to miscalc it? Oh, they're going to brainstorm. All right, that's a pretty good way. I guess a brainstorm's a pretty good way. If it, I mean, Arcbound Ravager's a two-mana 1-1. One, one. People call that deck an aggro deck. Oh, God. We're just, we're just stone-cold doomed. We're just actually dead. We're just never coming back alive. I guess we take Factor Fiction. And just let them do the mystical thing. And they hid two cards. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, chat. <laughs> Opponent kept a seven-card hand. You know, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. They, they kept a seven-carder. You know, it's just just how it, it's how it be sometimes. Oh, they're going to pass? I mean, they're just going to mystical for, like, something that I can't beat, right? So why bother? Why not just play a smuggler, smuggler's copter? What? Why are we tapping a million mana? <laughs> What's going on, homie? No? No end of turn mystical? They don't give a shit. They don't even cur. They ain't even mad. Oh, now I got him. Now I got him. Now I got him. Do I have him? I don't really know. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, they have mana leak. All right, they're getting got. We should have thought seized first. We fucking, we should have thought seized first. All right, I got got. I miss sequence my spells, but at least I get the. You, you know what, opponent? You know what, opponent? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, well, you see, I was playing around spell pierce. Why aren't they mystical tutoring? Why is this Flicker Wisp cost white, white? <laughs> I'm going to hold this swamp, I think. Uh, all right, now they wanted a mystical. Now we mystical. Sure, why not? I bet they have two Yogwills. You ready? Who's ready for two Yogwills? Yeah, I mean, we might have won this game. Oh, they have Dig Through Time. All right, fair. We might have won this game if we... uh. We had sequence better. This deck is so unplayable. <laughs> Why? I hate this deck so much, chat. I hate this deck so much. Why did they just... They didn't even dig through time. This is unbearable. 
this is unbearable. They didn't even. All right, we we won. The game is over. Uh, opponent can never come back. Good luck, opponent. I can't believe opponent didn't dig through time last turn. It's insanity. Are we digging now? What? They're just choosing random game actions. None of this makes any sense. This is actual random game actions. Uh, this is why I make my bad brews like good enough. They're going to lightning bolt this smuggler's copter. Are you ready? They're going to dig through time, and instead of trying to win the game with their crazy storm deck, they're going to they're gonna lightning bolt this smuggler. Oh, they didn't even find the lightning bolt. Thanks for playing. All right, land, I guess? Ooh. All right, Flicker Wisp, you're out. I really wanted to land there. Really wanted to land there. If I had to land there... I guess I probably should not have used my white mana to play my, my, my pack rat. That was probably a mistake. Though I can assume that I was probably. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna spiral. They're gonna spiral back. God, well, okay. Oh, they have a thousand year storm. Okay, all right. I see you, opponent. I see you. All right, we hit a planes. This thing cannot hit permanents that cost six. This it wouldn't. Why are we? You need three mana to discard a card to the rat. What do you? What does no one know? What pack rat does? No one. Not a single person. All right. I think. I think I'm probably playing opposition agent over. Over. Uh, whatever. So I'm going to crew with my rat. And attack. And then draw. And Mesmeric Fiend. Interesting. Interesting. So should I fiend their dark ritual away? Seems reasonable. I kind of think I'm down. Oh, look at that! Expansion Explosion! I appreciate it. I'll take one of those. Alright, so I have an Opposition Agent, which is probably coming in, but I want to hold it just in case they get frisky. Like, if they go Dark Ritual Demonic Tutor, and we get two Demonic Tutors, we might win. Uh, that's unfortunate. That seems like we're very, very dead. I don't think we can beat that. Returns a factor fiction right now? Jeez. That's insane. That's so bad. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna just fucking make a pack rat. I need to get in. It's my time. We need to get in there. Uh, I don't think it matters. I mean, they have to kill us. Sure, why not? Just discard a Bramaz. All right, they're at, you know, they, they're, they're, it's close. <laughs> it's not close, chat. I don't think it's close. I didn't crew with the rat. I crewed with the fiend. Oh, I could have dealt one more damage, what you're saying? Yeah, I guess I should have done that. Whatever, I don't care. So what's one damage? Alright, so they have a Yogwill, and they have a Foth, and they have 
three, five, six, nine mana. Oh, plus Dark Ritual, a million mana. They have a million mana. I don't think we can ever win because they cast two Fofs here. Uh, and then they cast like four Dark Rituals. And then they cast like 10 Fofs. <laughs> We're so dead. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. You can just do this or something. Uh, this. They might, they might deck. They have a time twister thing, but maybe they might deck anyways. I don't know. I think we're just going to die to lightning bolt. <laughs> this is uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. If only we could have hit the thousand year storm with the skyclave apparition, you know? If only wizards didn't make white cards terrible. To be fair, they, if they accidentally draw cards here, they would die. <laughs> That's a lot of Yagwells. All right, I think we're I think we're getting the deads. To be fair, if we were slightly faster, this would have worked. Did you get back a brainstorm? What was underneath that? I don't know what's happening. I'm pretty sure Thousand Year Storm has to be the same target or something. Oh, they got back Explosion. Oh, okay. Yes. That's a lot of Explosions for 16. This is disappointing. Sky claving the Mox Jet to stop Dark Ritual might have worked. Possible. Hard for us to make that judgment call, though. All right. It's unfortunate. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you just get, you get a little unlucky. It definitely wasn't the fact that our deck is playing Smuggler's Copter. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Do I have to make five different thumbnails for this? That's a lot of work for like two dollars. Even though I have a template and it takes like two seconds. Pretty lazy though. All right, all right. I think Thoughtseize is the best card in our deck. I don't think it's actually close. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Can I please have a functioning hand? This hand has two moxin in it. Kind of on it. This hand is this is easily the best hand we've had all day. Maybe they'll fetch land chat. Is a holiday. Is a holiday. 
Where do you, we can't. We don't have enough cards to do that. <laughs> it's not possible. Fetch land, fetch land, fetch land, fetch land. Oh, ever lucky. Uh, no, 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 no. This is our fifth draft. This is the last one. This one's quite bad, so. But they'll all go on YouTube after, so no worries, no worries. You can watch any and all drafts on the YouTube channel. Yield until next end step. All right. I have an opposition agent for whatever that's worth. Knight's Whisper, please. Uh, pack Rat. My favorite. The Pack Rat. All right, this is the best start we've had, mostly because we drew both Moxon. Ancestral, that's a good one. I didn't see any Ancestrals in this draft, even if we wanted one. And Time Walk, fair, 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 fair. Well, aren't we in the 0-1 bracket? How do you lose a game with Ancestral, Time Walk, and a Moxon in your deck? I don't think we lost any games. <laughs> Actually, we didn't have that many ones with Ancestral. I think we only had, what, two drafts with Ancestral? I think both the 3-0 drafts had an Ancestral in it. I think the 2-1 drafts neither had an Ancestral. I still can't hit the stupid construct with the Skyclave. I can collect a Brutality it, though. Get in there, boys. Get in. All right, all right, we're tempoing. We're tempoing. They only have six cards in hand, chat. How bad could it possibly be? That's, that's kind of actually kind of interesting, right? We had... Two three zero decks, both of them had ancestral. Two two one decks that were blue without ancestral, and then this O three deck. <laughs> I mean, if we draw sword of body in mind, right, right, yeah. If we draw sword of body in mind here, oh, we were supposed to fix our deck, right? To fairy? Oh no. Oh no. How do I beat a 4 4 token? No. <laughs> Why is this card not just exile forever? I can't beat a 4 4 token. Oh wait, demonic tutor. Why is this? All right, what's the best card in our deck chat? And why is it sort of body and mind? <laughs> I mean, I think it is actually. I mean, we can collective, uh, we can counsel judgment this this illusion actually. Maybe we're just supposed to get counsel judgment. Yeah, but I want to attack this turn, right? Oh, Flicky Wisp. Where is it? Is it not in our main deck? <laughs> Where? We don't have a flicker wisp. It's not in our main deck. <laughs> Jeez. Um I wish I could just skyclave that thing, but apparently we're not allowed to do that. Alright, normally I would like to sort of body in mind, but I think I just want to counsel his judgment this illusion and get in. I think I'm just trying to tempo my opponent out here. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, that's wonderful. How do I kill Teferi? I literally... I just showed you the way. I, I counsel's judgment the illusion. I attack for three, and I attack for one. 
It was GG Easy. Unfortunately, it was not GG Easy. So, you hate to see it, really. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a free kill on Teferi. I think it's reasonable, yeah. I mean, we're dead. We're just straight dead. Opponent has Ancestral Time Walk, two mock. Oh, my God. They're playing Jace, chat. This card is not playable in any capacity. This card is unplayable. Ugh. We're going to lose to Jace the Mind Sculptor. Tilting. Oh, if we scooped when we were dead, we would have no gameplay with this deck. So, no can do. Of losing to Jace the Mind Sculptor in 2020. Can't take it. It, it hurts the soul, is what it I mean, like, it hurts the soul. They're playing Coalition Relic. This deck is too fair. Yes, it says the back rat deck. <laughs> Yikes. All right, I can skyclave this thing and then still die to this illusion that we can never beat. And then they're just like to fairy bounce my skyclave again, making another unbeatable illusion. This is not a good deck. This is not what you do with your ancestral recalls. Stop giving the opponent false confidence. Nice Jace the Mind Sculptor. Don't mind if I do. Uh, can't even discard a card. All right, whatever. It's supposed to be crazy, and it was fun when I drafted blue cards. To be fair. When I drafted blue cards, honestly, like, I had a good time. Okay, we made too much, too many play points. We needed to go back to parity. If we didn't O3 this draft, we wouldn't be at parity. And you just have to be at parity, you know? Worn Power Stone? Oh no, homie. No, this person drafted like it was a, a real cube. This, this deck looks worse than ours. I think we can win. Yo, we just got a free Black Lotus. Check it, chat. All right, this is opponent's deck. Opponent has a Mind's Desire. That's pretty reasonable. They have a Ulamog, which could be a problem. But this deck is bad. We can beat this deck. We can beat this deck. We, we, this is beatable. This is 100% beatable deck. This is beatable. This is super, super beatable. I think we got this. I think this game's over. Take a black lotus. This is drafted like a real deck, like a, a normal cube, but it's not a normal cube, you know. We actually get to make two rats this turn because of the free lotus that we got. We're almost attacking in. Uh, not there yet, though. Not there yet, though. Yeah, they have a Dak Faden, a Mind's Desire, uh, an Ulamog. If they draw the Ulamog, we will lose the game. If they draw the the Wheel of Fortune, we also probably lose the game. Um, if they draw any other card in their deck, I think we're good. I guess it's not good if they draw Dak Faden either. Uh, we kind of just need to beat an Ulamog. That's not what you wanted to do, homie. Oh. I mean, I guess they still probably draw a card, so it's fine. Oh, wait, they didn't draw a card. No, no, they didn't draw a card. Yeah, that was a misplay. That was a misplay. Yeah, if we draw Ravages of War, we probably win, too. 
I think we win. I think we got it. I think opponent's deck is more fair than our deck. <laughs> I think opponent has a more fair deck than us. Uh, I mean, you can kind of blame Dom for that, right? You don't have to blame me. I just am like a megaphone. So I guess you can blame me. Hi, Aaron. How are you? You found the one... <laughs> I actually think that deck is kind of good, Akash. Um, uncounterable, like, turn two kills is pretty sweet. Cavern of Souls is like a really good magic card. All right, next turn, we're attacking with Pack Rats. Yeah, I actually think the Goblins deck is, like, pretty passable. I don't think it's, like, fantastic, but it has a lot going for it. Mesmeric Fiend. That just needs to become a rat. All right, so these rats attack. Uh, thank you for asking, Crooked Sporks, but I don't have either. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't use rental, so... Even if they had offered me a code, hard to hard to hard to do a uh, uh, sponsor for a company when I don't use it in my mind, anyways. But thank you for asking; I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know. I it's too far in the too far in the past for me to remember. Uh, yep, yep. I have a extensive vintage magic collection. To be fair, I haven't put... Oh my god, they conceded. I told you, chat. This... <laughs> the opponent has a, their deck is more fair than us. Alright, alright, alright. So, let me take a look at their shit again. They have sneak attack. Some, some, some remand. They do have a lot of moxen. They have like four more... Five... They have five more moxen than we were just shown. So I feel like we don't actually want Ravages of War. Maybe we need to have this Elspeth Conquers Dust to be what what does this Ulamog do? Can someone card Ulamug 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 the Infinite? Is a 1010. Whenever you cast it, destroy a permanent, annihilate four. I actually think we want this. I feel like we don't need this. I actually think we want this as well. We might... I think we actually just don't want these collective brutalities. And I think we just want Monastery Mentor. I don't actually think the Ravages War is good versus our opponent. They have like uh, 12 total artifact mana. Which is a lot. Considering we have three. Yeah, I think this is winnable. The opponent's deck looks like a very normal cube deck. I guess our deck also looks like a very normal cube deck. So that's why I think it's winnable. Sure. Wait, really? Travis was... I didn't know that. <laughs> Travis is in the EXO picture from Seattle. That's wild. I had no idea. Okay, this is uh, not a good enough hand, unfortunately. Yo, what if we go 2-1 with this deck? Alright, alright, alright. Mulligan. Okay, this seems this seems keepable. Done. F six. 
I mean, opponent does still have some powerful things going on, but I think it's possible. It seems reasonable. Uh oh, they drew Black Lotus. That's not good. Was it going to be Warren Power Stone? Oh, they drew Black Lotus Ancestral Recall. All right, well, scratch that chat. I know I said it was it was winnable. Um, however, however, <laughs> how about that? Yeah, but they don't have any other good cards in their deck. It's just Black Lotus Ancestral Time Walk. If they do continue to draw Black Lotus Ancestral in all their opening hands, yes, I think it will be. We might have a problem. That could be a problem. But they also have like a Worn Power Stone in their deck, right? Like, it seems winnable in my mind. Unfortunately, I can't play a Smuggler's Copter anymore. Zach Baden, uh, not happy about me. Yeah, the rest of their deck is like one Ulamog and a sneak attack, you know? If we like Mesmeric Fiend, or, or we just like Thoughtseize, I guess you can't Thoughtseize an Ulamog. Uh, if we like Mesmeric Fiend and Ulamog, how do they win? How do they win? If they get hit by one sort of body in mind, I guess they would shuffle back in with the Ulamog. We don't talk about that. Mesmeric Fiend hits Ulamog here. Game. 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 All right. It didn't hit. <laughs> oh, God. Their hand is so good. Um, 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 I think we just take the Urza. Look at their deck. It's got Mountain Island Plains. How do they pitch the island here? There's no way you're supposed to pitch the island there. That can't be right. That can't be right. All right, I'm going to take the the remand, I guess. I, I mean, I feel like we, the Urza is a pain in the butt, though. Yeah, I know, chat. I know there's ways they can win. Come on now. It's it's hurts for effect. For effect. I'll take the Urza. Unfortunately, if they just hold open Reman, I don't feel like we can beat Reman, but it does feel like opponent is a wheeling kind of wheeling dealing uh kind of player though. I could see it. Yeah, I don't really think I can beat a Reman in like any capacity. Which is a problem. It is a problem. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a problem. They discarded the Wheel of Fortune. They also discarded a Mind's Desire. Are they going to tap their blue mana? Please tap. Oh, never mind. It's unfortunate. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I, I mean, this seems fine. This seems fine. What if they, like, tap out for Sneak Attack and I just Skyclave it? Opponent's making interesting choices. Let opponent do its thing. Like, if they go land sneak attack here and we just skyclave it? Yeah, they can drag emblem, but what are they gonna, how are they gonna trigger steals? I don't really think they can. All right, they pitched counterspell coalition relic. All right, so unfortunately, they missed the land drop, uh, which is a problem for Justin. This is a problem. This is a problem. How do I play this here? How do I play this in a way where I don't get actually wrecked? Really don't think I can. I can't play the Skyclave. I can't get remanded. Do I play nothing? Do I play Smuggler's Copter? Do I play Jet? I mean, the upside of playing smugglers. No, then they'll just. Mm... I think I'm just going to play nothing. Maybe I'm supposed to play jet. So they're likely to steal it or something. I don't know. I want them to just tap out for sneak attack. That's what I want to happen. 
Uh, I can. I can actually choose to not play things. That is a valid play. Probably not a winning play, but it's a valid play. I just think that the minute opponent hits a mana source, they're going to slam this deck, uh, sneak attack. Wait, they just discarded an island. Okay, okay, we got rid of the remand. All right, all right, they're going to keep open mana drain, unfortunately. That's a smart play. That's a smart play. But maybe we can bait it with a smuggler's copter. Or a flicker wisp. That's what you would think, Gosu. That's what you would think. But you know, lots of things happen in a game of cube. Uh, random actions are taken. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get the sneak at the mana drain here. It seems unlikely, but I'll try. Come on, hit me with the mana drain. Hit me with the mana drain. Yes, yes. We got it. Got him. Wait, what did we get him? I don't know. I don't actually know what we got, actually. Am I supposed to skyclave this? Then I can't skyclave their sneak attack. Mm, but I feel like the DAC has to go. I mean, I got the bait, but what am I even doing? <laughs> I mean, I could give them the Urza. Right? And take the sneak attack. I'm going to just take this Dag Faden. Seems like a big win. It was a good bait. It was a good bait. I feel like there's some value to like Flicker Whisking this Fiend to take the sneak attack. But then I have to beat an Urza. And I'm not. Oh, we got wrecked. Oh, we got wrecked so hard. All right. Well, well, the daze was annoying. The daze was annoying. I wasn't expecting the daze. Did I know they had a daze? I don't think I knew they had a daze. All right, rip the jet. Nah, reman is still way better than daze there. They're just going to play the sneak attack, right? No, they just don't give a shit. Okay, fair. All right, I mean, does that do anything for you, homie? Like, you got your Urza back, but is that good? I'm going to flicker this jet. They thought Days was better, but I'm a big Reman fan. I think Reman was, like, one of the best possible cards we drafted all night. I was very impressed with Reman. I mean, I feel like it's free. All right, what do you got, homie? What do you got? 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 Okay, so they have the Ulamog sneak attack. So if we just take the Ulamog, we just take the sneak attack. I don't want them to pitch this, actually. Just take the Ulamog? They don't have double red. That's why they didn't do it. Hmm, they can sneak an Urza, and they can also cast an Urza. I kind of want to, maybe I'll hold this Flicker Wisp for the Urza token. No, they don't have any more big creatures. I'm going to take the Ulamog. That was our plan the whole time. We do need to kill this Teferi somehow. Um, I guess the Flicker Wisp is what's going to do that. All right. That's okay. All right. Okay. I mean, this seems winnable. This seems winnable. No, I don't think we beat Annihilator 4. I'm not going to lie to you right now. That's fine. We're not going to activate the Dak Faden first. Feels like that was an activate the Dak Faden first line, but whatever works. Like, I think opponents, they're actually going to mill out. Possibly. They could mill out here. Here comes an Urza. Though they can spin the Urza. That doesn't really matter. There's like no good cards in their deck. We kill the Construct. We kill the Teferi. This feels like a win. I don't know. This looks good to me. All 
All right, all right. They'll just play in the sneak attack for no reason instead of spinning the construct. See, I, I don't know if opponent knows because they could just tap this construct and pay five and spin there. Oh, they can Jace bounce. Shit. How do we beat Jace bounce? We don't really beat that. That's a problem. Yeah, they can Jace bounce, but they might not do it in time. Might be the last card in their deck or something. Uh... I feel like we just flicker this construct though. I mean, they have 10 cards left in their deck. No, I can't flicker. This is a, this does not have, not have flash. No, we've used one sky cleave. We have one more sky cleave. Uh, pretty sure I'm just going to kill this construct now though. I mean, they have a Dak Faden, but theoretically, we have time. Uh, do I want to play this land? Uh, this land. I don't think I want to play the land. <laughs> I guess they could spin. They could keep Urza spinning until they found it. I don't know. We're probably dead. The problem is... How does this work? The problem is they shuffle their library if they Ulamog. That's the problem, chat. The problem is if they Ulamog, they shuffle their library. All right. They spun and hit Jace. No. It was a one in nine. It was a one in nine. Oh, we're so dead. I think we should just concede. All right, all right, all right. You got me, homie. You got me. Try again. Let's try one more time. Feel like we can do it. Feel like it's winnable. Feel like it's winnable. Actually... Blackblade does beat down. I kind of actually think Blackblade looks better than like a mentor here. Mentor looks terrible. I feel like this is also a Ravages of War game. I know I said it wasn't, but now I'm thinking otherwise. I think this is winnable. I think this is winnable. This is winnable. Find more. I don't know if I want recruiters. I don't really know why if I really want recruiters. This is winnable. This is winnable. This is off. This is a winnable hand. Keep. We're not removing the white whites. Stop it. Stop saying things like that. It's not happening. Uh, all right, how do we lead here? How do we lead here? I feel like we lead Smuggler's Copter. Oh, shit. They have a Chrome Mox in their deck? They put the Sneak Attack under the Chrome Mox? We're getting remanded. We're 10,000% getting remanded here. There's not a chance in the world we're not getting remanded here. Zero percent to not get remanded. We didn't get remanded? No, no. Remand is better than Mana Drain. Remand is 10,000 times better than Mana Drain. They're tapping out for DAC? For wheel? Uh, Really? Man, the Spirit of the Labyrinth is not a combo with the Smuggler's Copter, by the way. The Spirit of the Labyrinth, not a combo with the Smuggler's Copter. <laughs> I don't want to get dazed. I feel like I should just play a Skyhauler Scuttler. Skyhauler Scuttler. Yeah, the Spirit of the Labyrinth not looking good at the moment. I agree. All right, so what do you got in your seven-card new hand here? Bam. Show me the goods. Yes, they don't make them like they used to. Wait, they, they don't make them like they do now. <laughs> they don't make them like they do. I, the wheel was wild to me there. The wheel was interesting. The, they, they got rid of their only win con. 
Ah, ah, no, this is unfortunate. Wait, 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 they have no way to cast a fairy. So I should just take this Urza. Take the Urza? I hope I can just hit a Thought Seize. If I can just hit a Thought Seize, it's a big game. The Urza is number one problemo, for sure. For sure. All right. All right. Through, through your boy, Copter. Get in the Copter. And then this needs to draw me into a Thought Seize. And if they don't hit a white, then we can fiend it. Okay, that's... Um, should I get rid of the spirit? I feel like we have way too many cards. I feel like we can just get rid of a Night's Whisper. I mean, their deck doesn't really draw that many cards. Planes? Yes. Yeah, so we can get rid of planes. I guess. Why don't we just draw Thoughtseize? Make this life easy. All right. Opponents got a preordain here. Oh, they just played their land. They can't even Teferi anymore. This game's over. GG easy. GG easy. Bottom, bottom. You have no plays. Go next. Go next. Oh, they time walked. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Don't hit a white lana. All right. Ponder. Yeah. Maybe we do want the Spirit of the Labyrinth. Maybe we're just Fiend Spirit of the Labyrinth next turn. These Whispers look so bad. I guess opponent did... Alright, they hit exactly Pearl. This game's like... Ugh. Alright, I mean, we can still replay and take whatever. So it's not a big deal. White Mana lets them replay the Teferi, which... If they had extra, if they had like done other things, they could replay this Urza and make my life hurt. Like if they counter like my things on the way back down, it's really bad for us. Maybe I'm supposed to play Fiend first there. All right, they don't have anything. They're just dead. Um, all right, they're just dead. What do we do? Oh, they just concede? They're done? We won? We won? You guys said it wasn't possible. You said it was an 03. Little did you know. We got there. Easy. It wasn't even close. Not once. No, we just wanted the force Thalia, and we didn't hit any Thalias. Zero. To be fair, our blue deck would have also been atrocious. The only deck that would have worked is, like, maybe a ramp deck. This, these packs were bad. These packs were very bad. Every time I see someone else's Twitter deck of this format, I just I just shake my head because <laughs> everyone's other decks are so good. It's it's insanity. It's insanity. It's crazy. Wild. I posted my first list of Twitter. True. Uh. I gotta give I gotta give the suggestions. I gotta do the I can do that after while the things are loading, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, I'll do that after the while the things are loading. Alright, one more chat. There's one more. No, we're not posting this list to Twitter unless we go to one. All right, I got to update the record text. 
This is very important. If we go 2 1, maybe. No, our list is very bad. <laughs> I wanted to draft a Thalia deck as the last deck of the night because I drafted four mono blue deck, mono blue decks basically, um, and it, we didn't find any Thalias. We do have like four thought seizes, but uh, I've, I've been draft. I've drafted five times tonight, Kane. Why don't you just hop on your stream and I'll just send all the people over after? <laughs> yeah, well. Is one of our better hands, I agree. Oh, we forgot to change our main board again. Whatever. Our deck's perfect. Oh, uh, Kane, I'm going to get to your uh, your question in the group chat after, while the things are, uh, while I'm uploading the things to YouTube. That's That's my plan. Uh, I mean, I think that's like fine. I think it's like reasonable. Uh, I guess it's like better to play a fiend. Oh, I guess I can get dazed. I kind of want to get dazed. Not gonna lie. Oh, they just don't cur. Oh, it's another fair blue deck. My heart, my heart beats. I think we have a chance. I think we have a chance. Oh God, no. Everyone keeps raiding for this terrible deck. It's the worst. <laughs> nice raid, by the way, Doomway. Very nice raid. Perfect. Nice raid. Could we just opposition agent instead of thought seizing? Like, seems better, right? Or I guess we could Bramaz. I don't know. I feel like I mean opponent what's the opponent gonna uh, I feel like we just want to end of turn opposition agent. Bermaz is terrible. Why do we have a Bermaz in our deck? Alright, alright, alright. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We drafted four blue decks today, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we tried to force Thalia? And then we didn't find any Thalias, so it's better it's a problem. We got a small problem. Actually, I'm probably just supposed... To, I don't really think I want to do a gotcha here, though. Yeah, this you draft blue decks. It's true. But I think it's a lot of fun, honestly. Oh, no! Uh, this was going to be my last draft, Jay, bro. I've drafted five times today. <laughs> Maybe we can do another draft. What do you think, chat? If Jay, bro, rage, should we do another draft? I got to find, like, food and alcohol, though, or something. Yeah, we can, we can draft again. We, we'll draft again if Jay, bro, raids. How about that? We'll draft one more time. But can we can we wait until after we finish this stupid black white draft? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is, uh, well, on screen I went three zero three zero two one two one with blue decks, and now I'm one one with this. Um, this you can raid whenever you want. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put the stupid opposition agent into play now. Well, I can get dazed. I don't really care. Whatever. No, this doesn't do anything against anyone. Except for the time that the opponent put a Trinket Mage into play. That was lit. Alright, so now, now we take their dig through time. Uh, ooh, they have a Consecrated Sphinx. Alright, I lied. We take their Consecrated Sphinx and let them have a dig through time. <laughs> and then I slam my Brumaz Vintage Staple. And we attack, and we hope that this gets there. Consecrated, consecrated, consec consecrated. Whatever works, chat. Whatever works. What'd they draw? What'd they draw? They drew another Urza. Uh oh, that seems like a problem. They actually can hold up counter spell. All right, well, I guess they're going to have to counterspell this Mesmeric Fiend. <laughs> I like this card. This card's fun. No? They just said fine? 
They just said it resolves? I think I want to take... One, two, three, four. I guess I just take the counter spell, right? Can we beat a one four? No. I mean, yeah, we have two Skyclaves, so we can. I guess we just take the counter spell. Uh, I mean, if we want to play any other spell for the rest of the game, they're so far from dig, right? They're, I guess they can untap this Grim Monolith and then they can dig. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm off it. We should just take this dig. All right, so what does this thing do? When it attacks, I get a cat. When it attacks, all right, cat, cats are coming in. Wait, is it, oh, wait, the cat's gonna die. It doesn't actually do anything. All right, whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll see if they figure it out. They just block here, block here. Like, I don't know if I want to attack my opposition agent into that. Maybe I did. Maybe I did want to attack the opposition agent. You know, maybe I did want to attack the opposition agent into that. I could see it happening. All right, whatever. We go, we go next. We go next. All right, so they have counterspell left. All right, they have counterspell. Are they going to spin? Then I can definitely get some attacks in. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to trade the opposition agent in. Uh, that's not a very good draw. I mean, they could spin into something here, but I don't really care. They want to trade their construct. I think I'm kind of happy with that, right? All right, this is good. I mean, this is a race. This this feels winnable. This feels winnable. What do they draw? They're gonna spin for an instant. Okay. Oh no, they're gonna untap. That makes more sense. Okay. All right. All right. Fair. 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 Yeah, I would have spun. I think, but I don't know their deck, so it's hard to say. Maybe they had something they drew that they wanted to cast off of this monolith, which seems like that is the case. What did they possibly draw? What could they possibly have drawn here? I mean, they haven't top decked any lands. They've top decked the consecrates. Cons uh, sorry, excuse me. What is going on? Why are we going to second main? They're spinning. They're spinning. Oh, they're playing a. Oh, jeez. Oh, that is unbeatable. That is a problem. That is. <laughs> I, this is not good versus anyone but me. Yeah, I don't think we can ever beat that card. We just can't beat this card, right? <laughs> I think I think we're dead, chat. Not like this. I really have, don't think I have any way of 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 battling that card. I think we're dead. <laughs> Rip the mesmeric fiends. Yeah, it's simultaneously unplayable, but also I can't beat it. I can't remotely beat it. I feel like if this Bramaz was any of our other cards, we would be okay, but and we need to make sure we sideboard correctly here. To be fair, this is the only deck where we've had a lot of sideboarding choices, right? 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 All right, I'm off it. Let's just go to the next game. Let's just try again. I mean, to be fair, they could have just top decked some islands for us, you know? Feels like that would have been nice. All right. Do we want... I feel like we actually just want this Elspeth Conquers Death. I feel like we just want Flicker Wisp at all times, which we just, for some reason, don't have in our main deck. This might actually be a GT match. Maybe. Uh, Opposition Agent has done actual factual. Zero work. Zero. I feel like we want... I don't know why people told me to cut Gideon. Gideon seems fine. I feel like Gideon looks good. They got one brutality. All right, this deck's perfect. Run it back. On the play, we get a nice hand. We're gonna mulligan. We found the sapphire. Um. I'm off it.
Yeah, it's okay. We got a win with this deck, and that's more than I can really ask for, right? Jeez. Opponent's stack is not a bad big blue deck, huh? Or they're not even a big blue deck. They're like mono artif... Oh, wow. This is like my vintage decks. This is basically all of my vintage decks. All right, well, I have the answer to that. Got him. This is winnable. They have a mana crypt in play, and we have a 3-1 flyer. They won their flip. This is cheating. How does everyone win their flips? We have two three-power flyers, theoretically. Maybe they'll start spinning. Uh, yeah, no blocks. All right, they don't want to spin. They're too skirt. Oh, wait a second, chat. Is that the plan? Is that the plan? We have all the answers. There's no way this doesn't get counterspelled. I feel like we're going to get counterspelled here. I don't really have any other options. I guess I could play a Smuggler's Copter, theoretically. Nah, whatever. Let's just Council Shrugman. Make them have it. They didn't spin. Hardcast Force? Oh, Fof. There. Uh, you can either have an Urza or a Walking Ballista. <laughs> uh, I guess it's like this. Well, what if we just do that? What if we say you have a million islands? You drew four cards. Nah, nah, nah. All right. Do do your worst. Right, they took the Urza. All right, I mean, that makes sense now that I'm killing their Urza. So. <laughs> fair, fair, fair opponent. Reasonable, reasonable outcome. Reasonable outcome. Can we, can we get a Mana Crypt? Mana Crypt for the homies? Oh, my homies love a Mana Crypt. Aha! We got one. The clock is on. The clock is ticking. The battle commences. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can spin. Are we spinning? They spun. All right. I think we can get there. We just need a couple good mana crit flips. We already got their walking ballista. How can we ever? Can we? I just want to draw. All right. If we draw a swamp next turn and we sculler them and then crew a copter. This seems winnable. This seems winnable. Can we get a mana crit? as well I get a mana crypt flip mana crypt flip no they won that one hmm how long do we have not very long it seems 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 doable swamp swamp gets there that's a problem it's okay we're gonna we're gonna draft a new deck soon we're going to draft a nice new deck soon. We have Time Walk. Oh, they have another Urza. Is that the third Urza? All right, opponent had an idea, and they went with it, and I respect that. Also... How do I win? I need a black mana. No, I just, I feel like if I scullered and hit them for six and then they lost a crypt flip. Uh, do I lose? I just die. I guess I have to scoot up my, scoot up. Let's scoot up. Yeah, I mean, I, I I feel like we just could never beat a walking ballista, but <laughs> maybe that's just me. What do I know? I would like to loot. Oh, my. Can I concede? Can I just, just, just turn it off? It never happened. We got a win with it, which is just more than anyone can ask, right? 
All right, we got slightly. Uh, yeah, it was bad. I feel like that was a winnable game too. I feel like with normal draws, like if we draw a swamp on turn two, right? If we drew a swamp on turn two, you think we win that game? Because I feel like if we drew a swamp on turn two, I think we won that game. Feels like it anyways. No? You think no? We had a flying fleet. Flying fleet. Fleet. Flying fleet. Yeah, I think we had it. All right. We'll do one more of these because I think J-Bro's got an income in at some point. Let me get some water or something. We'll do our sixth draft. Nice. I don't know. I'm going to do it. For J-Bro. Nah, 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 nah. You gotta follow the trends, so maybe. You know, you get a you get a nice backpack from the Pro Tour. I came in the mail. I had no idea. I had some some packs. Zendikar should we open Zendikar Rising packs? What else do you do with packs? I guess I could technically draft them. Play the Pygao, maybe. You know when you can see people again. Live draft. Well, why don't we pie gal over? <laughs> save for pie gal. All right, I'll just save him for pie gal. That makes sense. That makes sense. I have a, I have like multiple like boxes in my. We gotta draft them at some point. I think I have Modern Masters twenty seventeen, and then some new box for that I won from. I don't know Eternal Weekend or PAX or something. I don't know. What's the play map? You get a, a Zendikar. Rising. Oh, I don't know. How, how do I do this? Get a. Uh... No one saw that. Zero players saw this. Nice, uh, nice, nice. Jason and uh, Nahiri. Kitty prize. Participation trophy. You know. Yeah. I, is it a card? I had no idea. No idea. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Ditched edging. Nice play map. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It's a pacifism? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did not draft a single time. When I do pie out with those packs. I am going to have no idea what's in them, which is cool, though, which is interesting. All right, I guess we'll just get going on this draft. Seeing as it's ten o'clock and I've been how long have we been doing the do the draft thing? Ooh. Played magic for seven hours. I don't know, man. That's a lot of magic. <laughs> Can do. Um Yeah, I guess we'll just jump in. One more draft. Uh Pie Gal? Never played Pie Gal? Should we be able to should we be able to I think it's like on channel. There should be an article on channel fireball. Um, high gal is each player opens a pack, and then you take your fifteen cards and you make three piles of three, and then you play five heads up matches, uh, where you have infinite mana, 
and you have three cards and you try to beat your opponent who has five life. Each player has five life. I think that's it. I think that's all the rules. I can't remember if there are other rules. I don't think there are other rules. You got to make five decks of three cards that can win a best of five. It's fun. It's really fun. It's like a mini pack on, you know, pack wars draft format thing. That's a uh, not draft, I guess. It's more like a mini pack wars thing that has a little bit of uh, gameplay and leveling. And um, I, I think it's a pretty fun way to deal with random packs that are lying around, you know? Okay, it's